Today is February 13, 2021, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the discoloration issue when you're exporting from Unity and importing into Roblox. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up Unity, click on the object you wanna export, go to game object, go to export to FBX, make sure that your export format is binary. Click export. Then you go over to Blender. To the right, you can click on these objects, click the X button to close them out. Then you go to file, go to import, FBX, import the FBX you just exported, click on the object, and if you go up to the top left, you can see object mode, go down to vertex paint. You're gonna see that this is what we're exporting to Roblox currently. So to fix this, all you have to do is go over to the right, you're gonna see this little green triangle, click object data properties. To the right, you'll see vertex colors. Click on the vertex colors, and then click this little minus, and now it's gone. So you can go back up to the left here, go down to texture paint, and you'll see what it's gonna look like when it's in the game. So go to file, go to export FBX, change the name to whatever you want, click export FBX. You can close this out, you don't even have to save it. Go back to Roblox Studios, right click workspace, insert an object, mesh part. Click this little folder here. Go to auto clean, resize, you don't have to. I don't use the data location, I said I want it right in front of me. And there it is. And right now I'm gonna show you the old one, what it looks like. We're gonna do the same thing, insert object. This is without going through Blender and fixing the issue. Folder, this is the original. And there it is. So this works for this instance. I don't know if it's gonna fix other issues as well, but for this, it worked, as you saw. So I'm gonna do a few more tutorials going from Unity to Roblox. I've only been working with Unity and Blender for a couple weeks now, so I ran into a bunch of issues that I haven't found solutions to online, so I had to figure out a lot of stuff by myself. So I wanna make these quick tutorials to help other people so they don't have to spend hours trying to figure things out by themselves. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. See you.